Welcome to this tutorial on installing Lightbox in your website. So for those of you that are curious as to what exactly a Lightbox is, here's an example of a page that has Lightbox installed on these images. And the way it works is once I click on an image, it drops or pops out into a box that you can then either cycle through the images using the arrow keys or clicking with the mouse on the right arrow or left arrows and then simply clicking the X gets me back out of it and I'm back to the original page. So that is an example of how you could use a light box. It'd be a great tool to display a portfolio with because you could have thumbnails and then when the person, the user clicks the thumbnail it pops out into the light box with a higher quality or larger version of your thumbnail. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Dubai page and we're going to make these images on the right hand column into light boxes. So we've got four images here. We've got some larger versions of these images that we're going to use. We're going to make these clickable and we'll make them pop into light boxes. Let me hide this for now and go to our folder. So in our folder we've got our images, we've got our HTML, and we've got our CSS. This has already been built. And so we're just looking at taking an existing page and adding a Lightbox to it. To get to Lightbox, we have to go to, and I just Googled this, Lightbox is available from lokeshtakar.com. And it's very simple to use. Here's another example of what happens when you click the image and uses a Lightbox. It drops into a little box that pops out front, and you can click through or navigate through the images. Once you get past that samples, here is a how to use tutorial. It's very short. There's only two steps. Really, there's only two steps. It is fairly short. First thing we need to do is we need to download the, the Lightbox. Anytime we use a JavaScript or a jQuery plugin such as Lightbox or Galleria, there is always some files that we need to download and install. So we'll start by downloading those files, unzipping the document, And then what I need to do is take that entire folder, so that will give me a folder called Lightbox. And most of these types of things work similarly. They're very, they're very similar in their structure. There's inside that Lightbox is some JavaScript files. There's a CSS, couple CSS files. There are some images associated with the Lightbox. But we just want that entire folder, and we want to just drag and drop that right into our HTML folder with the rest of our website content. Then we can go from there making note, of course, of where, the, where these files are and what their names are so we can then locate them using um, our HTML. <clears throat> Scrolling down to the instructions of how to use, we've already done step one, download and unzip the latest version. We need to look inside and find jQuery 111.0.min.js in Lightbox, which we've already done. Those are right here. We need to load both of those files and load the jQuery first. And when we talk about loading, we're just simply talking about making them available to the HTML. And that's just involving putting in a script element. And they've even given us the script that we can just copy and paste. We'll have to customize it, but they've given us a starting point. So this is what I need to copy. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to my brackets. And I've minimized it. I need to open my HTML document. So I'm going to take my, find my folder, Dubai.html, I'm going to drag it and drop it into my brackets, and here's my HTML file. So in order to load anything into our file, we need to put it in the head element. So I've copied those already, I'm simply going to paste those scripts into my head, and they look like, okay, they look fine. The one thing I want to make sure of is that they validate, and in order to validate, I happen to know that a script element, in order to validate, needs a type attribute. So both of these are missing that, and I'm just going to add them. The next step is to make sure that my paths are correct. So I want to make sure my path to this JS script, this jQuery script, is correct. So looking at my folder structure, from Dubai, I need to go into Lightbox, into JS, and then jQuery 
11, 0, min.js. Now this path is not correct because this path doesn't represent doesn't represent the lightbox, and so I have to add that in there. So I simply add the name of my lightbox directory in front of JS to correct the path. The same is going to be true of the path to my lightbox JavaScript. It's also missing my initial folder name, lightbox, so I just need to add that. And that's what is involved in loading scripts. So I go back to my browser window and look for step three. In the CSS folder, I need to find Lightbox CSS and load it. Same basic process, they've given us the link. We just copy that. We go in and paste it in the bottom. Here again, we need to double check and make sure that the href path is correct. So going to my finder, looking into Lightbox CSS for lightbox.css. So far, same same rule need to apply, or the same process applies, I need to add lightbox to the path. Also, in order to validate this, we still need to add a type attribute, and it's brackets is smart enough here to realize that this is text and CSS, so that's what it adds, or that's what it suggests to add, I just need to confirm. So there we have the link to the lightbox CSS, so we go back to the browser, look at step number four, and this is just telling us to look and find these PNGs, these images. Um, these images are used in Lightbox CSS. You can modify those images if you want to use something of maybe a different color. Their default colors are, it looks like white and gray. So if you wanted to modify those, you would certainly be free to take those into Photoshop change the colors, change the style of the graphic element, save and overwrite with the same name, and it should be a very seamless transition to your new, new elements with your lightbox. All right, so that's it for step one. We've loaded the CSS, we've loaded the scripts. Now we just have to activate lightbox. And we do that by using an attribute called data lightbox. Now the value will be important at a later date, but the data lightbox is really important for activating. That's what tells the browser to run the lightbox scripts. So data lightbox goes inside an anchor link, which points to the image that we want to drop into the lightbox. The value of that anchor is the image that we want to appear as a thumbnail on the page. And then of course the data title would be the caption. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this anchor open. I'm going to take it and go to my go to brackets. <clears throat> and I'm going to find the images that I want to turn into links. So I want the bottom four images in my images column. So the easiest thing I need to do here, the best thing to do, would be just simply paste that open anchor in front of images slash Burj al Arab. And there's what the image looks like. Now obviously this image is incorrect because it's from their website, so I'm gonna have to modify. I'm gonna have to add my own link. So I just go again back to my finder window. I look in my images folder and I want to do al Arab one. So I just simply tell it to look for images slash al Arab one and, and brackets is good enough bright enough to tell me there is a fill, there is an image in there called Al Arab 1 so it suggests it, I simply confirm then I can customize, I can set my image 1 to whatever I want really, this is a value that the user sets, that the developer sets and the main reason for this value is to group images if we go back to the examples on the Lightbox website we have individual images, and those images are using different values for that data lightbox attribute. Hence, when you click one, there is no right arrow to go to the next one. And when you click the other one, there's no left arrow, no right arrow. There are single images. If you want to group images into a set, that's where you set the same value. Hence, left and right arrows are linking between grouped images in a set. And that's created by setting the same value in that data light box. So if I want them all to be in a group, I would leave them, I would leave them all image one, basically. 
I might even just leave them as image. And then I want to customize my caption. And I want to call this Burj Al Arab. And then the last thing to do at the end of my image is close my anchor. So let's go ahead, let's save this. Let's go back to the browser. And I think I might have minimized. There it is. I want to reload this document. And now our image is a link. You can see that I hover it, there's the mouse changes, icon changes. So I click it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's working. Now I need to do this for the rest of these three images. Same process. I go in here. I paste in my open anchor. I customize my images. Slash. And in this case, I'm looking for Dubai Towers. I don't know if that's... We'll try... Um, What do we have? Emirates Tower, Almas Tower. I forget which image I have in here for this. Let's do islands. Makes sense. So this image isn't necessarily going to match, but it'll give us the functionality. Um, we're going to call this Palm Islands. So, yeah, that's not the right image, but that, that'll work. <laughs> islands 1. That's fun. All right, same thing here. I'm going to close my anchor at the end of my image. I save this. I go back to and reload the browser window. Now this second image is also a lightbox image. And there is a left arrow, so I can click. They're both in the same group because I, both, I set both of the values of data lightbox to the same. So I come back in here, and maybe I'll just copy this and duplicate it. For the third image, this one's going to be uh, Emirates Towers 1, data lightbox image, data title. We can set that to Emirates Towers. And at the end of my anchor, never, at the end of my image, never forget, you always need to close your anchor. And then the fourth image, same process. We're looking for Almas Tower 1, and I want to keep the data lightbox value the same, so these are all part of a group, and then fill in my title. Last thing, close my anchor, save, go back to my browser, hit reload, and now I've got 1, 2, 3, Four images within a set in Lightbox. And that's it for Lightbox. Thank you for watching.